I love WIC. Me encanta WIC. Apoya mucho. They are supportive. Es útil. And they're so helpful. Coma sanamente. Eat fruits and vegetables. Su bebé es importante. So eat healthy. The baby is important. Exercise regularly. Del embarazo al nacimiento. From pregnancy to birth, put your nutrition first. Breastfeeding is the best choice. Dar pecho, la mejor opción. Yeah, WIC is the best. WIC is lo mejor. El programa de WIC. The WIC Show. Hello, and welcome to The WIC Show, the show about WIC, for WIC, and by WIC. I'm Alana Samuel. In this edition of The WIC Show, a mom shares her story about exclusively breastfeeding while returning to work. We show you some yoga exercises you can do with your baby. And in the WIC kitchen, VG whips up some rice, beans, and roasted veggies. Yum! But first, let's take a look at WIC's breast pump program. The program helps provide moms with breast pumps while separated from their babies for either work, school, or hospitalization. The WIC show's Paola Laverde explains how the program works. Breastfeeding is the best feeling in the world. It, as soon as you put your baby on your breast, you fall in love with them. Wick moms like Brandy can keep on feeling great about breastfeeding even if they have to return to work or school. That's because Wick is there to give moms the support they need to continue breastfeeding. That support is provided by breastfeeding peer counselors and lactation consultants. WIC also supports mom by providing breast pumps for free. WIC will loan a breastfeeding mom a pump if she's separated from her baby because of school or work. WIC provides a variety of pumps, and the type of pump a mom might get depends on her situation. So make sure to talk to your WIC counselor about WIC's pump program. WIC's goal is to make sure you feel comfortable and supported when you breastfeed. If you're a breastfeeding mom and are interested in getting a breast pump, feel free to talk to your WIC counselor. Now that you know about WIC's breast pump program, you should know there's a law protecting your right to express milk at work. The California Lactation Accommodation Law requires employers to provide a reasonable amount of break times to accommodate moms who need to pump their milk. The law also requires employers to make an effort to provide moms with a private space so she can use her pump. And this space should not be a toilet stall. In our next segment, a mom shares her story about working and using a breast pump in her own words. My name is Rosenia Basto. My babies are seven months old. I think there were only four months when I went back to work and I went back to work full time because I have to. And it's very hard for me to leave them because they cry and plus I want to be there all the time. You know, like feeding them, looking at them, giving them a bath or changing their diapers and stuff like that. It's a great experience for me being a first mom, breastfeeding, pumping, and going back to work, taking care of my kids, and I wouldn't want to change anything if I have another twins uh, again. I would do the same thing, breastfeeding and pumping and giving them the best. WIC helped me a lot uh, because um, it's my first child, children, and I just does not have any clue of what to do. They said maternal instinct comes naturally, but uh, it does, but you still need help even if it comes naturally. So I turn to WIC a lot of times, especially on nutrition side and breast um, feeding side. At first, I went to see uh, the breast milk, breast milk consultant at WIC. So Brandy was the one who helped me and uh, gave me uh, this uh, breast pump machine and it's very effective because it's both uh, breasts that pumping at the same time. She taught me how to do the scheduling um, when I go back to work and how oh, are we going to transition my kids from 
them feeding through me, through the bottle. My eldest doesn't really want to take the bottle. Since I'm going back to work and he has to, so we have to work on that one. So what I do sometimes is I leave the house or maybe I, I, I lock myself in a room and you know not basically hear him cry and my husband has to feed him to the bottle. And then after I think a week or so, then he, he get used to it. But it's hard, it's very hard to um, feed him in a bottle. I work in, uh, in a bank and they're pretty uh, understanding about it. So um, they said it was okay as long as it's not interfering uh, bulk of my work. And then I said, I'll try my very best. So I went to this uh, stock room and then I fixed it a little bit. I uh, cleaned it as long as there's a um, plug-in to plug my breast pump and then I put my little towel in there and then I just make it uh, work. <laughs> That's it. So my coworkers are very supportive. We call my the room, the stock room, and my happy place. I just thought of like a happy place because every time I breast pump, I thought of my kids and I'm happy. So it's like being at home and I'm happy. So it's my happy place. <laughs> The most challenging part on uh, pumping is uh, being on time uh, and um, like the time that it's time for me to pump. I have to pump but sometimes I can't because I'm stuck in a meeting or I'm stuck in a conference call or I'm stuck helping my coworkers. So um, sometimes um, it's just not feasible but I find time to pump. I still have that Lactina pump with me. I'm still breastfeeding up to now and they're almost going to be eight months this 23rd. The advice that I gave to those moms or um, moms that are going back to school or work is that challenges are there. It's not going to go away but just make the most of it to you know put it aside and just keep on going. Keep on breastfeeding because it's the best For more information on WIC's breast pump program, make sure to talk to your WIC counselor.